Hey guys, the following video is brought to you by American Collectors Insurance. Stick around towards the end for some more information. My name is Otis Bryant. I'm out here in Syracuse, Utah with my 85 C4. It's got 140,000 miles and it's uh, quite a bit of fun to drive. The special feelings I get with a Corvette are different than other cars, mostly because the hood's so much different. When you look over it, it's got, I mean, little kids have said it's the Batmobile, but it's just a different feeling. And when you look in the rear view, you only have about three feet behind you, which is nice. It's a very small, low car, so people give you a lot of looks when you drive by because you're usually lower than their passenger mirror. But it's just a nice feeling to know that it can handle, it can turn, it's very reliable. Things to that nature, it's just, and of course there's a lot of aftermarket things I can do to it, which make it a fun car to drive because I can always do something different with it. My father bought it in Cody, Wyoming from a friend of his who was a Corvette collector. This is one of his personal collections. He named it Black Beauty. And my dad bought it in about 2008 and then he passed in 2016, so it kind of passed on to me. And I really just kind of sat on it for a couple years thinking about it. And it kind of grew on me as it sat in my garage and I eventually decided to fix it up and make it what it should be, which is a, a good running Corvette. So I put an Edelbrock tunnel ram intake, Edelbrock aluminum racing head, TRW pistons, I bring it up to 12 to one compression, bring it up to about 350, 375 horsepower. Uh, I've had to redo the radiator. Uh, we put a whole new suspension on it with KYB shocks, stainless steel braided lines on the brakes. The brakes are original. I put a different uh, exhaust on it with no muffler, so it's straight through with a MagnaFlow catalytic converter that basically is just more of a space eater, so I have something in between the two. I just redid the dash. This is originally a cloth car. I put in a leather interior into it, and I put a comp cam in it that's uh, pretty highly modified, so there's a lot done to the car. The reason you still see a lot of Corvette C4s is they're affordable to purchase, they're affordable to maintain, and they have a lot, of, a lot of horsepower availability with some aftermarket parts. They're great handling cars, and there's just, Corvette clubs just love them because nobody collects them, but we all still keep them around. And there you can find them, and a lot of them are in very, very good condition for being 35 years old because Corvette owners tend to take care of their cars. They tend to wax them more than they drive them. So, and I'm guilty of that. So that's why the C4 is special. You, you know, they've sold so many of them that they're easily to pick up. They're easy to pick up. But because of the C4 selling so many, Chevy was able to continue with the Corvette line all the way up to today. And it was a very different, a very different radical move from the C3. The C3 had a lot of parts that were still from the C2 of the 60s, and this was an all new car from the ground up with design. What they did was they just basically started with a clean sheet of paper. All they knew was front engine, rear drive. The idea of the C4 was we want to compete with Ferrari, Porsche, Lamborghini of the 80s, but we want to do it at like less or a third of the price. And that's why this car will do 150 miles an hour off the showroom floor. And it'll do, it's a high 13, low 14 second car at the drag strip off the showroom floor. They have the Z51 suspension that makes it a lot better for the track. So it, it can hang with those European high dollar items, but you can buy it at your local Chevy dealer. And as one guy on TV said, if you don't have at least pop-up headlights on an 80s car, you don't have an 80s car. You're just wasting your time. All right, go to www.americancollectors.com to get your free quote today and see how much you can save. Thanks for watching.